Yeah, welcome everybody to the uh, course on Monte Carlo methods. So uh, I will lead the course. My name is uh, Jörg Kienitz. I have uh, 13 years of industry experience as a financial consultant, as a financial engineer, and uh, now I'm currently working as a head of quantitative analytics in the treasury department of Deutsche Postbank, which is part of the Deutsche Bank concern. Um, and uh, I'm also uh, giving lectures on computational finance, interest rates, Monte Carlo methods on a university level. Currently I'm lecturing in the computational finance course at the University of Wuppertal. Uh, before that I was a uh, lecturer in the um, part-time program on the Master of uh, Quantitative Finance in, at Oxford University. And um, <clears throat> I've written several uh, papers and uh, two books which appeared at the, in the Wiley Finance series. Uh, one book is uh, the Monte Carlo Frameworks together with uh, Daniel uh, Duffy. And uh, the most recent book is uh, Financial Modeling, Theory Implementation Practice uh, with MATLAB Code. And um, uh, this includes uh, several uh, things on Monte Carlo simulation for um, uh, stochastic volatility models for multi-dimensional models and uh, the MATLAB code uh, which comes with this book is uh, available for download and yeah so I hope you enjoy the course and I wish you the best uh, and if you spot any errors in the script uh, please let me know. Uh, welcome to the course on Monte Carlo methods so this is a, a course consisting of two parts and uh, the agenda looks as follows. So first of all, um, we lay the foundations for Monte Carlo simulations. So we have to study a little bit uh, the mathematics behind Monte Carlo. We consider stochastic processes. We uh, consider processes which are very common and very widely used in finance. And uh, then we will show how the Monte Carlo method is applied. We will see some examples. And um, of course, we consider in the first part the generation of random numbers. To this end, we consider random number generators and uh, we consider different distributions. So of course, we see the famous Gaussian distributions, but also other distributions which uh, play a fundamental roles in uh, risk management, in derivatives pricing and so on, especially uh, if you want to go for modeling risk and exposure so you want to use fat tail distributions and uh, to, to be able to apply Monte Carlo methods. Um, yeah, it would be nice to generate random numbers from these distributions. And uh, because we do not only want to consider a static Monte Carlo setting, so using random numbers, generating random numbers from distributions, uh, we want also a timely evolution of uh, our problem. So this is very important, again, for simulating exposure for pricing derivatives if we consider pass-dependent derivatives. So that's the part uh, four of the Monte Carlo course in one and in multi-dimensions. So if you look at the agenda in the first part, uh, we consider the first uh, four issues. And uh, these issues will be the basis for the second part um, of uh, this course, which is then uh, more advanced applications and uh, which has more advanced um, treaties of uh, certain aspects of the theory. So today we, of course, uh, begin with the first issue, the Monte Carlo simulation and its mathematical foundations. So in mathematical finance, you often formulate problems in terms of uh, uh, yeah, uh, stochastic differential equations. And uh, this one <coughs> will be discussed here. Uh, we will identify in the second part uh, several um, applications. So you might want to consider um, yeah, hatching of certain uh, structured products of derivatives and so on. Uh, you may also want to quantify your risk in a value at risk or conditional value at risk application. So you can do it with Monte Carlo. You can price, of course, derivatives with Monte Carlo. This also fall into uh, part two of um, this presentation. As I said, the third one is uh, really 
the theory or the, or the technicalities behind Monte Carlo simulation. You have to uh, put everything uh, in a way such that you can use it with a computer. It's uh, uh, the art of generating random numbers to find out if you have a good random number generator. Are there any uh, random number generators which are preferable um, with respect to others? And as I said in the beginning, um, using different distributions. So you do not want only rely on the Gaussian distribution because the Gaussian distribution has several nice properties, but also some properties which are uh, not suitable, for example, for risk management. So think about the tails, which are uh, not really fat tails. They're uh, exponentially fast uh, decaying. And uh, yeah, so the third part is considering different distributions for using Monte Carlo simulation. <clears throat> um, yeah, finally today we consider the dynamic Monte Carlo. It's an evolution, as I said, and uh, we have to find out several recipes for evolving our system into the future. And uh, to this end, uh, we have to generate what we call a path. So we uh, have a random experiment and the outcome of this random experiment is a path. <clears throat> a path, as it is, is a continuous object. And uh, of course, if we want to use it uh, within a computer program, we have a, a discrete uh, object. It's a kind of discretization of a continuous path. And we have to ask ourselves if there are any uh, good recipes for uh, discretizing a pass and uh, in a way that we do not uh, yeah, uh, do a bad job but a good approximation on the continuous path. And all that uh, of course we use in the second part uh, when we go a little bit further and discuss uh, yeah, uh, the quality of the Monte Carlo simulation, to improve the quality of the Monte Carlo simulation, uh, to study fixed income models and CVA, and uh, advanced Monte Carlo issues like calculating Greeks or early exercise options. And uh, these early exercise techniques can also be applied to CVA calculation. And um, finally, I will have some comments on uh, the implementation of Monte Carlo simulation schemes in a computer.